wigs are arguably the most realistic wig that you can get. However, they also require the most maintenance because human hair wigs have to be restyled every time you wash them. Today, I'm going to show you how you can bring out your wig's natural curl and wave pattern using the Curly Girl method. Let's go. Welcome to the Wiggy Woman where I give you wig and hair topper reviews and tutorials to help you have the easiest path forward on your hair loss journey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a very popular technique for bringing out the natural wave and curl pattern in your human hair. This is the Curly Girl Method and this has been made very, very popular for biological hair but you can also apply these same techniques to human hair wigs and hair toppers for thinning hair. This will allow you to give a very natural soft wave to your hair or accentuate the styling that's already built right into your human hair wig so that you don't have to bust out a curling iron or expensive tools and crazy stuff to be able to have beautiful movement and texture in your hair. The human hair wig is the one that requires the most maintenance because whenever you wash it, you do have to restyle it. And when you're talking about human hair, it is actually advised that you do use heat. I know that, you know, we all try to stay away from using heat on human hair because we want to preserve the human hair as long as possible. But unfortunately, if water gets trapped inside these cuticles, it can lead to frizziness. So this Curly Girl method that I'm going to show you today, I am going to use heat, but a lot of the products do say that you can air dry your hair. So you can go ahead and give that a try as well. I'm gonna use heat though, because I wanna have the most polished look that I possibly can. But if you wanna have a beautiful wave and curl pattern in your human hair wig and you want to use much less heat and certainly at lower temperatures than a heat styling tool, then this method is going to be great for you. So let's dive into the Curly Girl Method on human hair wigs. The real secret to beautiful natural waves comes in the pre-styling and comment below if you want a tutorial on how I do my regular um, deep conditioning treatments, but I did use most of the Olaplex line. And then I also use a microfiber towel and the Curly Girl Moisture Curl Cream, although you can use a curl defining jelly from other brands. So the Curly Girl method starts with wet hair. So I'm going to take that air dried wig and I am going to wet it in a bowl of water. And then I am going to apply this curl gel Jelly, um, this curl cream on soaking wet hair. I did not towel dry it or anything. It is soaking wet. Um, because this is a wig and not biological hair, I did put it on just kind of the outside. I didn't rub it into the knots of the wig. I really just tried to keep it to the surface level. Um, but I am focusing on those ends to make sure that they are totally coated. And then I'm going to use a wide tooth comb to just make sure that it is detangled and set it here vertically on this microfiber towel. I set it in here from the ends and then the cap kind of on top and I'm squishing out the excess water and I do it this way to kind of mimic what you would call the plop if this was biological hair. After really pushing out the excess, I am going to allow it to sit wrapped up in this microfiber towel for about 30 minutes. Once it is um, considerably drier, I am going to take a blow dryer on low heat and I am going to blow dry first the cap and I'm leaving it kind of in this vertical position, um, kind of similar to that plop so that those waves are starting to dry in that wave shape. I really want to accentuate those natural waves. I'm going to hit it with my diffuser and I'm just going to keep going until I feel like the inside of this wig is sufficiently dry, which only took a few minutes. Once the inside is dry and the curls have had a chance to set, I lay it out on a towel so that it can dry about 80% of the way. You can let it dry all the way, but I chose about 80%. And then I took my blow dryer with the diffuser attachment that helps distribute the um, air so that you don't mess up those waves. And I'm just going over all of those waves that we formed in the, um, the previous method. I'm just really setting them in in that curl jelly with this diffuser. 
once it's fully dry, it is time for some finishing. So I'm going to come in here with some oil. You can use either the John Renault Argan oil or I'm gonna use the Olaplex oil and you do not need much. I just used three little taps and I rubbed it in my hands and now I am going to scrunch all of those waves. And I didn't wanna edit out how much I scrunched these waves. So I just sped it up really fast. Um, but you can see after scrunching, I am getting rid of all that kind of crunchy wave feel and leaving it with these soft, very natural waves that have movement and texture, but are not going to be crunchy. I really can't underemphasize how much I scrunched these waves. This really is the difference between those 90s crunchy waves and beautiful soft texture. So now I am going to compare this side by side between the air dried Angie and after. So you will see on the air dried side, while there is some of these, you know, beautiful natural waves, they are certainly not as pronounced and the hair is not as finished. It doesn't have like a styled look to it. it generally just looks like it was air dried. The ends are also a little bit frizzy while on the, um, the curly girl method, it just looks brought together. The hair is kind of clumped together. It looks much more natural. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up so that I know that you want to see more videos on how to style human hair wigs. And of course, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a wig review or tutorial that's posted weekly. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.